Welcome back to LBMA. Uh, Juggles is currently having an abortion or something. He said he was too busy. But yeah, it's just me this episode. So I'll try to keep it shorter than usual. Which is uh, always welcome news for everyone because nobody watches this. And especially if it's too, like, you know, like 25 minutes episodes. Ugh, terrible. Anyway, uh, this is our storage room that I did t today. Juggles didn't help at all. But, um,. Yeah, I set it all up, and organized it, and it was a lot of work, and yeah, took forever. Alright, so I got the hostile mob drops. Ooh, can definitely do this. Make sure that row stays gunpowder forever. Alright, so yeah, we got, uh, we used up like all the cobble we have in the entire world on this uh, piece of crap castle. But yeah, hopefully this episode and uh, later I'll be going caving and stuff for more cobble, among other things. I didn't show that much of the storage room today. Eh, so yeah, raw wood, wood products, rails. So I try to separate like stuff like the raw redstone with the redstone products, because yeah, it gets, gets a bit uh, cr cramped if they're in the same chest. But one thing, I need, I need to separate out some some of this farm stuff because this is really cramped. Maybe I'll put um, some pota potatoes and carrots in the seed slash wheat chest. That would probably save some space. Space. I think I cooked up some iron there. There we are. Uh, valuables right there. Alright. Got our crimson red beacon. <laughs> that goes on and off depending on where you look. It's like you have to look down a certain amount to be able to see it. Weird. I assume that's just like a bug or something. Yeah, I look down, then back up, down, down. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid beacon effect. Alright. And I'm not sure if I showed the interior or the inside wall last episode, but yeah, that's that. Well, last episode we were, I was like digging out the basement, wasn't I? Yeah, that was just blah. All right, so I think I'll go head on into the jungle. Maybe chop down some trees while I'm there, because uh, we can always use more wood for. I'm planning to make the uh, top of the wall, like the floor of the top of the wall, uh, jungle wood. I think that'll look good. And yeah, we got plenty of trees over here to chop up. All right. Yeah, actually, I do want a cave because I need levels, just a couple le levels, until I can uh, go for another level 30 on a pickaxe or a book. I want efficiency four, or another. I want another efficiency four for this pickaxe so that I have a, you know, just a diggy pickaxe without any fortune on it, so it's ch nice and cheap to repair. Because this one costs like 33 levels, which is ridiculous, but it has like everything you could possibly want on a pickaxe, including the fortune three. So it's, yeah, really good, just really expensive. So I want a cheap pickaxe for, you know, like a cobblestone <coughs> digging like a quarry. Oh boy, stupid rain. Let's try to find a cave so that this rain doesn't get annoying. Are those saplings? What are those saplings doing there? Weird. All right. Hmm. So uh, I'm pretty sure it would be pretty easy to make it so that uh, in certain areas it's precipitating and in certain areas it's not in a CTM map because I'm working on a working on a, a snowy or icy area for the magenta wool and storm the castles too and I'm thinking I should try to make it snow a lot in that area because it's a snowy area and snow looks pretty cool and to make it so it always snows would be pretty cool too so I assume you just set up like a, com a command block clock making it precipitate <laughs> rain and stuff not sure what I, how, I, how I would feel about a snow, like, lightning storm. That would probably be a bit much. Eh, I guess it's worth using. What the... <laughs> Woo. Weird. Okay, I just duped a clean my pickaxe. It's always nice. There we go. <laughs> Minecraft, you so funny. Alright. What was I talking about? Yeah, ice area. Haven't come up with a name for it yet. Uh, I was thinking... What was I thinking? Something... I was, I was gonna try to make a reference to my uh, RuneScape username. Well, my main's username is, is Chills, spelled with a Z. So I was thinking I would make a reference to that in the title, but I don't think anyone would get that, so that so I wouldn't, you know, put that much priority on incorporating that into the name. Maybe something to do with Frozen, because <coughs> the castle of the area is probably going to look a lot like a castle from Frozen, because that's what everyone builds in Minecraft. Elsa's, Elsa's little ice castle, which I'm probably not going to build, actually. So I'll probably stay away from that, because Disney and their trademarks are just cutthroat. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny. For a business law class, I was supposed to look for um, uh, trademark infringement cases. 
and it's just it's just all Disney. <laughs> Like every trademark infringement case you could possibly think of, or that I, I saw like on uh, Google when I just Googled it, it's all it's all just freaking Disney. <laughs> like uh, one time, actually, one of them was was Disney getting sued by some guy uh, for Toy Story three. Their their um like the teddy bear, which was like the antagonist for the movie. He uh, he was his brand was something like lots of huggins or lots of hugs, lots of huggins or something. And then some, you know, teddy bear company out there has a teddy bear named um, Lots of Hugs. <laughs> so they sued over uh, trademark infringement or whatever. So I, I, I think I, yeah, I used that case to uh, summarize for the class, which is kind of funny. Um, and I guess we have to present it in class, so that's going to be a hoot. <laughs> so uh, for my case, I did... <laughs> going to be awkward. And that professor is, is not so good anyway, so yeah. <laughs> she's like she's already cancelled like a, a class and a half already in the half class she almost canceled because canceled she was um, she showed up like an hour and a half late because she was she missed a flight so that class is not going so hot but hopefully the exams aren't too difficult because she's like taught us next to nothing she doesn't even she doesn't, she doesn't even use powerpoint slides on her lectures which is like wow like everyone uses powerpoint slides even my art history, well, I guess art history, you gotta show the images and stuff, but still, like, everyone uses PowerPoint slides in lectures, but this one just doesn't. And it's business law. There's a lot to write down, man. So, yeah, that class, that class is not going so hot. And it's only once per week on Wednesday for two and a half hours, I think. No, wait, three and a half hours. Three and a half hour class. <laughs> only once per week, though. So, yeah, that class is kind of ridiculous. And, like, I know a lot of people in the class are just going crazy, too, so I was like, ugh. Anyway, what was I going on about? Something about trademark infringement? Oh yeah, <laughs> the for, so for the name of my area, I'm probably gonna avoid using the, you know, Disney references because that's that's never a good idea. Is this all that this cave had? Huh? I guess I need cobblestone, but then I'll, I'll, I'd probably want to dig it up with the haste beacon. So yeah, let's not dig up cobblestone while I'm in a cave or something. All right, where's the entrance to this place or exit? It was up high, wasn't it? All right, so like ice themed area uh, name. So, so like half the area is in like an ice cave, cavern kind of kind of thing. It's gonna look pretty cool, pretty cool. Packed ice and stained stained glass and all that uh, awesomeness. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, I haven't really worked too much on it. I'm just basically I've just, I've just basically hollowed out the area. Well, like the general shape of the area. I haven't even eroded anything yet. So yeah, it's just really early in development, but I'm just trying to think of think of a ice area name. <clears throat> um, the, this, the second part of the area is kind of like a cliffs, like you're in between a couple of cliffs, like a valley or something. So I was thinking like uh, ice canyon or canyon of canyon of chills if I wanted to incorporate the art, the runescape name. Canyon of Chills. Uh, and, uh, I don't know. I'll think of something eventually. I mean, the ice castle is going to look pretty awesome too. There, there, there hasn't been many like ice castles in CTM maps. Uh, if people have noticed. It's, um, usually, it's like a fire castle, if anything, or something like. Or desert castles also, I think, are done a few times in a lot of CTM maps. But ice castles, not really. Probably because the blocks you have to use for ice castles are kind of iffy. Like you can see through, see through uh, normal ice pretty well. Although that could just be used for windows and look pretty cool like that. But uh, yeah, there's, there's quartz, I guess. But um, but yeah, with the new prismarine actually, prismarine would probably look pretty good with a ice castle. So yeah, can have fun building that. But I'm still yeah, like I said, really early and in making the area, so it's like, yeah, I haven't even, like, uh, don't even know what the layout's gonna look like exactly yet. So, yeah, but names, names for an ice, ice area with an ice castle and whatnot. Uh, frozen, okay, I guess I can use the word frozen, it's not like I'm gonna call it just plain frozen, that's, that'd be something like frozen canyon, freezing cliffs, freezing cliffs, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Names. Blah. So yeah, and I also I should also mention that the Cit 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 Citadel of Saints 
I might put on hold, like building on that, because it's going to be the light gray area now. And I want to make sure that the intersection, I haven't even built it yet, but I'm, I want to make sure the intersection uh, leads into that area at the correct height. So <clears throat> I might stop working on that for a while. Uh, I'll probably work on it on and off when I'm bored of the ice place, because Citadel of Saints is pretty fun to build. Like I'm building the interior like a lot now, because that's all I need to do, except, well, I do have a lot of exterior structures and stuff to work on, which is going to take forever. But, yeah, the area looks pretty awesome already, so <laughs> looking forward to how that's going to turn out. <clears throat> so, yeah, I moved it to intersection 3 to to make full use of what I think the area has has the potential to become. Did I make this? <laughs> huh. Weird. But, uh, yeah, I just decided that, wow, this area... Uh, I could, I, this area is going to turn out awesome. It would be a shame to waste it by making it too easy to, to uh, make it fit for the magenta wool area. But, so yeah, I moved it to light gray light gray wool and put tons of mini bosses and everything in it. Like the Citadel of Saints, the lore is going to be like... Uh, there are saints all over the place that you gotta... Well, you probably don't have to kill, but maybe they drop something good or something. Or Yeah, there's going to be like the trials towards sainthood or something that you have to go through in order to to get to the head saint guy or whatever to get the wool because he's gonna be the fleecy mob or something yeah. so yeah i'm working on the lore and whatever but yeah it's gonna be pretty interesting and awesome <laughs> Ooh, look i think it might be a little juggles cry, bo cry box over here or is it just, just a cave yeah it's probably just a cave i already explored that <laughs> eh? oh yeah i play tested <laughs> I, I, sometimes i just get bored and start and i just want to play test the first couple areas of Storm the Castles 2 again, which I've done on stream actually. I've, I've shown the first couple areas of Storm the Castles 2 on a live stream, but since it didn't save it uh, on Twitch because they deleted everything for some reason, uh, it's not it's no longer available. But yeah, some people actually have actually seen the first bits of Storm the Castles 2. Yay! <laughs> which I really enjoy, by the way. I, I really like how the orange wool area turned out, and the starting area is not half bad either. So yeah, Storm the Castles 2 is going to be so awesome. <laughs> and I just cannot stop thinking about what I'm going to do for the um, the blue wool, which is going to be the the uh, Mother Loving Water Temple, is the title. <laughs> That's all I've done with the area yet, but I just, I really want to get started on that area for some reason. Like, um, I, ju I just want to build a water area because of all the new water stuff in 1.8. And uh, yeah, I can just imagine how awesome I can make an actual watered area now compared to the the freaking water temple from storm of the castles one which was kind of a meh area in terms of gameplay the aesthetics were pretty much were like were like okay for that map <laughs> i mean like storm of the castles one aesthetics were like freaking terrible but then the freaking water temple was okay <laughs> i guess i mean still it's pretty bad but you know uh <laughs> so yeah now i want i want to with storm of the castles two like by the way i'm just <laughs> okay i can't talk about anything except storm of the castles when i'm by myself, can I? Hey. <laughs> but um, yeah, Storm of the Castles 2 is kind of my, my redemption, maybe, from Storm of the Castles 1. I was almost tempted to just not name it Storm of the Castles 2 because of, like, I want to leave that map behind. It was just my first map. It was just basically a blundering through map making, trying my best to make something that worked uh, with some unique mechanics and stuff. And I keep doing weird stuff with a pickaxe. But yeah, yeah, it turned out like it, it was it's playable usually, <laughs> and it had had pretty crazy mechanics in it, and that's what I was going for. I wanted a crazy mechanic map, but it just didn't work out that well. Uh, yeah, I'm sure most people will agree with that. But Storm of the Castle 2, I want to be like on everyone else's level, you know, with map making and awesomeness. So definitely looking forward to when I finally release that, which will be so long from now because I'm taking way too long on individual areas like really I need to speed things up Ugh. but what'll help also is um working on blitz I might work on soon not yet though I haven't started working on it I should though god I can never get in this place easy enough I should probably make something like this mm. but yeah blitz um, I'm definitely making it to a mini CTM just to get on the, another map out the door and uh, show that my map making doesn't suck that much uh, compared to Storm the Castles 1 and stuff. Ugh, hiccups. But uh, yeah, I might release Blitz. Um, yeah. 
early next year because I have like another intersection and a half to go and I don't really want to work on it that much really. Uh, the, current, the area I'm working on right now is the zombie disco and the mechanics I want to put in there is pretty complicated and uh, kind of a hassle to make like I want to make a music track for it and I have no experience with like the uh, music blocks and the uh, play sound commands and whatever so that's going to be interesting to experiment with but it, it'll take a while and I don't like taking a while and I, I know I take a while and everything but eh. so yeah blitz I'm gonna think about a lot until I figure out what to do with it um, well I know what to do with it but in, I want to think about it like each individual area and see if, if I can come up with more area ideas and whatever but um, yeah eventually I'll be releasing that as a minimap hopefully a lot sooner than Storm the Castles 2 because I kind of want to have that map out just to have another map out okay where do I put, where do I put uh, carrots in here yeah all right seeds wheat should probably actually um should probably help on this chest but these seeds in this chest because these are seeds right yeah <laughs> that makes sense all right apples in the food chest uh, I think I put saplings in this one yeah for some reason it's not the wood chest I don't know why all right uh, what else? Wait, there goes, those goes there. Those go there, right? Yeah. No, wait. Shovel goes there. Yeah. Gah. How'd that get there? All right. Uh, so I'll probably call an episode here. And, uh, yeah, just to make this episode a shorter one, because it's just me. And this series probably could use shorter episodes. And, yeah, I guess that's uh, all I want to talk about. Basically, I'll just storm the castles too and stuff. Hey. But I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Ah, I forgot to mention, uh, tomorrow's gonna be a new series, and starting... Well, I'm recording this. Well, I guess it's technically past midnight, but whatever. Tomorrow's gonna be a new series, uh, starting its Emerald Dream 3. It's a CTM map by Orange1095 or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's a new uh, CTM map series that's coming out tomorrow. Did not mention that through this entire episode. I meant to mention it, but I just didn't. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. It's a pretty awesome map so far, I think. I've recorded three episodes. And three episodes, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy.